three, two, one. Let's do it. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this portrait design. So first of all, make sure to download and install this font, which name is Century Gothic, or it just depends on you. You can use your own fonts. Press T, which is type tool shortcut, and simply click here, hold shift and press N. Now we need to align our text layer to the center of the canvas. So take your move tool, go to the option bar and click on these three dots and make sure align to is set to canvas, not the selection. And just simply press these two icons right there. Now it's time to open your image. I already have this image from this free photo from unsplash.com and we must separate our subject from the background. There are lots of ways guys. So I'm gonna do this in a simple way. Go to the layers panel, make sure the background layer is selected, press Ctrl or Command J. So we already have a copy of our layer and turn off the invisibility of the background layer and make sure the copy layer is selected. Now take your move tool and from the properties panel go to the quick actions and simply press remove background. Guys note that I'm already using 2023 version and it just depends on you. It's, there are lots of way as I said for separate subject from the background and if you don't have this feature just don't worry I'm going to show you another way just go to the toolbar and choose quick selection tool and from the option bar you have this button which which is select subject okay now we have a selection of our subject and all you need to do just go to the layers panel and choose add layer mask and they are the same result so take a look at our subject guys let's watch the edges if there is any problem we can fix it easily i think it's actually fine right there okay i i got this i got a problem right here and as you can see i have hairs and backgrounds in this area and it's we need to fix it so how can we fix it it's easy we just need to use select and mask panel so go to the layers and double click on the mask of this layer and we already have select and mask panel go to the tools and choose refine edge tool and slow and simply we need to brush the area like this okay i'm done with brushing and everything is fine press ok let's take a look before after before after it's, it's actually much better okay now go to the layers panel right click and convert this layer to a smart object now i'm gonna drag and drop it to my document like this now press ctrl t to adjust the size and position press ctrl or command t i'm gonna zoom out a little bit well okay i think it's fine so guys before we continue you need to add your special color for the background so go to the layers panel choose background layer and go to the adjustment layer and choose solid color i actually have this color code for mine and press ok you can do what color you prefer now back to the subject layer guys let's let's rename it to subject okay it's much better and we need to use clipping mask right now and how we can do this it's just too simple go to the layers panel and make sure your pointer is between two layers and hold alt and as you can see the pointer icon is changed and it's ready to make clipping mask and simply press left click so there is another way you can easily right click and choose create clipping mask they are both the same now we need a copy of our subject press ctrl or command j we need to make a mask for this copied layer and simply make sure this layer is activated and choose add layer mask now it's time to make a selection of our 
letter okay so simply press control or command and move your pointer to your text layer and as you can see the pointer icon is changed and just left click on it now we need to inverse the selection so press control or command shift and i take your brush and make sure the mask is selected and guys note that we are already working on a white mask so we should have black for the foreground of our brush okay right click make sure the hardness is 100 percent and you need to brush unwanted areas like this okay after you're done with brushing just simply press ctrl or command d to deselect the selection now it's time to work on our leather so go to the layers panel make sure your text layer is activated move your pointer to the empty area of this layer and just simply double click on it so we already have layer style panel so i'm gonna move it a little bit to the top so we can easily see what is going on now from the styles choose stroke and follow the settings guys size is set to 4 pixel position is outside blending mode is normal and it's 100% for the opacity for the next part fill type is set to gradient not the color make sure it's gradient and you need to click on this bar so we already have gradient editor panel so how does it work you need to set it from basic folder to a black and white let me explain you to a black and white and for this stop double click on it and you need to exactly enter your special color like mine and you need to set the brightness to 20 percent guys okay you need to click on here and set the brightness to 20 percent press ok and for the last one you need to do the same but this time with 40 percent brightness press ok and what about the middle one it's so easy don't worry all you need to do just hold your pointer right this area a simple left click and there you go you have another stop and note that you need to set the location of this stop to 50 percent so write 50 percent and you're done and another note that you need to you need to set the brightness to 100 percent for the middle stop press ok and you're done now make sure the style is set to linear and for the scale is set to mine is set to 110 percent okay that's for the stroke settings we have another step again you need to choose inner shadow and follow these settings blend mode is set to multiply opacity is set to 65 percent angle is set to 50 degrees and for the distance 25 chalk 5 percent size 35 and for the quality and set the noise to 3 percent and after you're done press ok and for the last step first i'm gonna press ctrl or command 0 to set my canvas right there and go to the topmost layer from the layers panel press t which is type tool and i'm gonna change this to 72 points and you can just write whatever you want for example your name or anything else and another one i'm gonna copy this with holding alt and drag and drop it to write this way and you can set this wherever you want and the whole idea is like this guys and that's it for the session guys if you like this video thumbs up would be much appreciated as usual and i'll see you in the next video